PAP more accountable and more transparent. Your votes will check the PAP from implementing policies as they like. Please vote wisely for your future. For the last few months, you have been bombarded left and right with speeches on TV from the PM, DPM, and other ministers boasting about the good work they had done in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Have you ever heard any of them admitting to the mistakes they made or saying sorry we should have done better? No, we did not. They were busy preparing for the election and patting each other's back for the supposedly good work they had done. Drawing money from the reserve and distributing your money back to you. Do you remember the PMD fiasco? It was not too long ago that such devices, a quintessential mode of transport for those who could not afford to own motorcycles or cars, were banned. No time for you to think or make alternative arrangements especially for the frontline food deliverers. The law took effect within 24 hours. Was there a mistake along the way? At first, they limited the speed of the PMDs to 25 km per hour. And then, only certain types of PMDs certified by the LTA could be sold. It was then followed by a mandatory registration where the owner had to pay $20. The PMDs were also prohibited from footpaths, the roads, and other public areas. Then came the bombshell, a complete ban within 24 hours. This was not taking into account the thousands who had to rely on PMDs for a living. To repair the damage, they finally, finally came up with a compensation package costing the taxpayers $7 million. Food deliverers were compensated $1,000 and owners of PMDs were offered to trade in their devices for $100 at the LTA. So, whose mistake was this? Why all the flip-flops along the way? Surely someone should be held accountable. But no, not even a simple word of sorry. Worse still, no one claimed responsibility. This is such the arrogance of the PAP. There were more flip-flops during the COVID-19 pandemic. At first, the government discouraged us from wearing a mask unless we are sick. Then all of a sudden, they made it a law for everyone to wear masks. For those who did not, they will be fined $300. Another flip-flop, and the blames were shifted to Singaporeans. So whose mistake was this? No one claimed responsibility. So who do you want to vote for? In February, when several foreign workers in a worksite in Salita were detected to have been infected with the virus, the Ministry of Health under Mr. Gan Kim Yong and Ministry of Manpower under Josephine Teo failed to act swiftly to contain the spread. Did they not know of the living conditions of these foreign workers? Or did they not know how bad the situation was in their dormitory? 
because of their failure to take action. Thousands of foreign workers were still crowding along Serangoon Road, the Mustafa centers, on Sunday. As a result, the spread was instantaneous and spontaneous, resulting in Mustafa being declared a major cluster. If only any of the ministers had gone down to take a look at Serangoon Road. New dormitories were desperately created from ground zero to isolate and quarantine these workers. Some were housed in makeshift places like the Singapore Expos and even HDB flats. Army camps and the Home Team Academy were not spared to house them. Only then did they realize the dormitories housing these workers were too cramped and it definitely lacked ventilation. Do you remember not too long ago, Josephine Teo said, you do not need too much space to have sex. Why the change now? What was she thinking of? Who was responsible then? The Ministry of Health or the Ministry of Manpower? How much was spent housing all these foreign workers? There is no revelation so far. While in the meantime, they were proudly boasting they had increased the capacity of testing to 40,000 a day. If that is so, why were there still 200 and above cases detected daily? If they had such a capacity, the process of text testing would have completed long ago. Instead of concentrating on the important task at hand, they were preparing for the election. They were using television to kickstart the campaign. The ministers went on TV claiming credit for the good work that they had done but not admitting to the mistake they have made. Is this correct? We, we need accountability and transparency. We need leaders. We need leaders who are honest enough. We need leaders who are responsible and be able to admit their mistakes. Honesty in admitting one's mistake is just as important as being corrupt free. All this time, the PAP has been telling us that they will be creating thousands of jobs, helping the lower income and upgrading their skills. But I say this to them, do not wait further. If you want to do it, just do it. I quote from the Nike, just do it. Do not issue blank checks and do not make blank promises to the residents and voters of Singapore. Voters of Ang Mo Kyo GRC, I say this again to you. Vote for the Reform Party. We, the Reform Party, will give the PAP a run for their money. We will not let you down. Please, make the right choice. Vote for the Reform Party. We will represent you in the Parliament. Thank you very much for watching my rally. I'll see you again.